Welcome to the Morris County Historic Society's Monarch Way Station. Morris County Historic Society's headquarters, Acorn Hall, is located on six and a half acres in Morristown, New Jersey. Set within an urban neighborhood, the property includes landscape grounds as well as a historic cultural woodlot area. The woodlot includes a small meadow after losing many native trees due to Superstorm Sandy. While the area slowly recovers as a second growth mixed native hardwood forest, the new meadow offers MCHS an opportunity to encourage the return of native New Jersey plants and insects. Over the past two years, MCHS has been cultivating a habitat there that includes native milkweed plants to help support the Eastern monarch butterfly as it migrates through New Jersey from April through October. It seems that Acorn Hall's common milkweed patch in the historic Woodlots Meadow has really taken root. Morris County Historic Society at Acorn Hall now officially includes Monarch Way Station 31386, registered with monarchwatch.org, a monarch butterfly conservation effort of the University of Kansas. The efforts taken have met Monarch Watch's guidelines for a monarch way station to be of suitable size with lots of sunshine, good drainage and soil type, to provide adequate shelter to all monarch life stages, to offer various milkweed plants that are native species, to have nectar sources that provide seasonal continuous blooms, and to maintain a site management plan to keep non-native invasive species in check. But how did this project get started? After noticing that the Woodlots Meadow had few common milkweed plants, which are native to the Morristown area, many local milkweed seeds were collected. MCHS's volunteers from the Rutgers Cooperative Extension Master Gardeners prepared a section in the meadow and dispersed the seeds in early November 2019. The seeds had to undergo a period when they were exposed to cold, moist conditions over the winter to germinate. Then the long wait began, hoping to see milkweed seedlings in the following spring. Cautionary signs were posted so care could be taken to avoid walking across the seed beds. In the spring of 2020, the first new common milkweed plant sprouted in the meadow. Here, their upright stems are nestled among young jewelweed plants, another native wildflower that's a favorite with pollinators and ruby-throated hummingbirds. The common milkweed blooms locally in June and the Eastern Monarch butterfly uses its fragrant pink flowers as a food source. It's also a host plant upon which the female butterfly deposits her eggs. The eggs hatch into tiny caterpillars that devour the milkweed leaves as they grow larger in size. This caterpillar that's pictured is about the size it needs to be to form its chrysalis to undergo metamorphosis, its transformation from larva to adult butterfly. One monarch life cycle takes about 30 days. It takes four generations of monarchs to keep repopulating on their migratory route from northern Mexico to as far as Canada and back again. This past spring, butterfly weed plants were added as an additional native milkweed resource in the meadow to attract monarchs. This type of milkweed has a showy orange flower that blooms in the summer. As the summer season ends, new native wildflowers like the boneset start blooming to offer the migratory monarchs a feast to help prepare them for their long journey south. Safe travels and we hope to see lots of their descendants back at MCHS's Monarch Way Station next year. <laughs>